throwing pour overs and someone asked the other day whether or not I thought I could use the laser level um, as a three dimensional guide and I hadn't actually tested it but I can't see any reason why it wouldn't work. So this is my laser level, just a kind of bog standard uh, two axis laser. So it does horizontal and vertical. It's flashing to tell me that it's not vertical, which obviously we know. Um, they come with a screw on the bottom so you can mount them to a, uh, like a tripod or something similar uh, or a bracket to fit to the wall. In this case I've got a very low tech solution and it's going on top of a tumbler. But if I sit it there I should be able to mark more or less exactly that corner. So you can see how that's marking where I want to throw to. So, with that in mind, I'm going to throw another one. And if I can hit that, it should be exactly the same size, which uh, I can't see why it wouldn't work. But let's see. The nice thing about using a laser um, for anything like this, but particularly three-dimensional things, is that you can't knock it and it doesn't get in the way. Normally what I'd do is stick a ball of clay on the splash pan, stick a paintbrush in the ball of clay, and that gives you a soft bristle uh, mark to throw to. So if it touches, it's not the end of the world because it's soft. But it's very easily knocked while centering um, which is obviously not ideal or if you avoid knocking it while centering you've still got to center fairly awkwardly to keep your hands free of it so the ability to just throw as normal with a guide in place is quite useful Do my pour overs with 550 grams of clay and aim to not leave too much to trim off the base. What you can see there is that I'm pretty much hitting the height. I need a bit more width. And I do have a fair amount of clay left at the top. I'm actually doing a great job of throwing this. So that's it, that has hit my mark and that one will be exactly the same size as the previous one. Of course that's without putting the swirly pattern in, but um, coincidentally I need a mix of swirly and nautilus ones, so just for the sake of keeping the comparison consistent I'm going to leave this one uh, smooth sided and turn it into a nautilus. Because the swirls will change it slightly. But yeah, so 
um, works well for that and would probably work better for something more straightforward like a tumbler especially seeing as things like smaller tumblers uh, where you want the guide closer to where you're centering and they're even more awkward something like this actually the guide would be far enough and high enough from the centering to not be much of a problem but, um, yeah works well the link to I've done a page on my website and the link will be in the notes but of all the tools that I end up recommending on here often like the car dent puller and the laser level and so on just links to bought most of them on Amazon so they're Amazon links and obviously I got them from Amazon UK um, I found what seems to be the closest in price and technical specs for um, American ones as well so those are the two that are up there but if you find look at the UK one if you're not in either of those countries and want to get something close just look at the UK one to see what I've got um, and then find one that's pretty close they're all yeah very few of my tools are bought for any specific reason it's generally just um, what's a decent price and does what I want it to do so in this case the laser level that you'd be looking for would be um, self-leveling ideally because that gives you actually vertical um, and uh, two axis so self-leveling horizontal and vertical laser and you should be able to get one for about 30 pounds or the equivalent of